going on, everybody? Mr. Dr. Gallon here from Alcohol Gaming. Now we are back with our NFL Draft on the clock series. Last episode, we talked about the Redskin. Next one, we're going to talk about the Buccaneers. And please don't, like, freak out or anything. But next episode, we'll say last episode, we talked about the Titans. Yeah, I was confused that episode. I know what I'm doing now. So the Titans actually are picking two times in the first round. We're picking 18, which is the 18th episode, so it makes sense. But they also have the fifth pick, and a trade for Rams. The Titans traded their first overall pick last year to the Rams for the 16th overall or 15th overall pitch pick and a bunch of other ones, including this one. The Titans ended up trading up to eight and getting Jack Conklin, who had a really good rookie season at that right tackle spot. So we're going to be doing like potential spots for both draft picks at the same time. Quarterback. They they don't need a quarterback whatsoever. I sure hope Marcus Mariota gets better from his injury. I'm a big Ducks fan. Marcus Mariota is one of my favorite players in the NFL. It would be a shame if he never was the same. Running back, they drafted Derrick Henry last year, and DeMarco Murray had a really solid year. Then again, their offensive line is pretty good. So running back isn't the biggest issue. Receiver. Rashard Matthews and Tajay Sharp are nice. Receiver isn't the biggest issue, and I really like both of them. However, watch out maybe in the third or fourth round. I would not be surprised if they took one. Tight end. Um, Delaney Walker. Okay. So Delaney Walker's had a great run in Tennessee. He's getting up there in age. Do you draft a Delaney Walker replacement now? Is it a little too high for David and Joku? Maybe, but I don't think this is the year to draft a Delaney Walker replacement, but don't be surprised. Offensive line. They have two of the NFL's best tackles. However, the middle of the interior offensive line, I don't really know much about it, and it's definitely not as good as their tackles. I've said this the last 10 episodes. If you realize what's going on, you're probably driven to insane. You're going insane because I won't stop saying this. At that guard spot from Western Kentucky, we have Forrest Lamp. A mid-first round guard who will blossom into a beautiful butterfly just as Zach Martin did in Dallas. Mid-first round guard, boom, boom. Let's go to defense. So, oh, jeez. Defensive line. They do have Jarrell Casey, who can play at end or tackle. However, they could use another one. Garrett will be long gone. Solomon Thomas will be long gone. Jonathan Allen will be long gone. But what about maybe Taco Charlton? Put him at one of the end spots. Get some more pass rushing up, or maybe Tack McKinley. A lot of people view him as a linebacker. I view him as someone who can play linebacker and defensive line. I think he'd be a good defensive lineman. Linebacker. Derek Morgan, Wesley Woodyard, and Brian Arakpo are solid. However, none of them are insanely good. Maybe you draft a linebacker. Hassad Reddick, a freak of nature from Temple. He'll be a great pick here. Reuben Foster. Do I think Reuben Foster will make it here? Maybe. He might slip. He honestly might slip. What about Jabral Peppers? He can buy linebacker. And uh, he tested positive for something, too, which Reuben Foster did, so I don't think he's going to be taken in the first round now. Let's go to secondary, and this is what the Titans need a lot. This is what the big idea is that they need to work on at fifth, pick five and pick 18. So pick five, if Jamal Adams was there, that will be a great pick at safety, but I don't think he'll make it to five. Might be a little high for Malik Cooker. He's probably going to go around 7 or 8, so it's not really too high. Maybe Marshawn Lattimore. Marshawn Lattimore would definitely be a great pick. Okay, uh, by the way, I forgot something. At defensive line, um, they could maybe get Solomon Thomas or Jonathan Allen if one of them is available at 5. I keep thinking about 18. What about 5? So, uh, yeah, if uh, Jamal Adams isn't there, don't be surprised if they take Thomas or Jonathan Allen. If not Adams or Hooker, maybe Marshall Latham or a cornerback at five. And at 18, they could always use another corner at safety. They did sign Logan Ryan this offseason from the Patriots, so he'll be a good corner. However, they're going to need another one. They don't need two, so they should probably draft a safety, and I think they should at five. At 18, there's no really safety to mate who will be picked around here. Maybe Drew Burrell Peppers, but after hearing what happened today, I don't know. Maybe Obi Melifonwu, who I really like. He's a freak of nature. Uh, but I'm thinking maybe Mar Marlon Humphrey or Gary Allen Conley. I think Conley will be picked before this, but I honestly don't think Humphrey will. So, bye guys. I hope you guys enjoyed.